I think quite often we assume that Oregon is not really a place that's susceptible to climate impacts. We see pictures of Mount Hood and all of the beautiful forests, but we can't let that pristine greenery fool us. Where we stand today is in Northeast Portland and EDF's Climate Vulnerability Index shows that this area actually ranks first within the entire state for transportation related impacts and it's in the 99th percentile of the entire nation for climate impacts. Today, we are visiting City of Roses Disposal in Portland, Oregon to see something really amazing, a fully electric refuse truck, a heavy duty truck that is doing mission critical work, doing the job that it needs to very effectively. The impact I would say this vehicle is having in our local communities is mainly tied to visibility, really a reflection of the ethos of the city and the culture that we have here as a state and as a region around sustainable practices and sustainable investments. And I also think it's a really bright beacon for the youth in this community to see drivers that look like them, that are employed by a company that is owned by people that look like them, providing sustainable solutions for their community. When the opportunity presented itself to get an electric garbage truck, we wanted to be the first ones in the state. You know, frankly, we, we wanted to be on the cutting edge. We're here in Northeast Portland, uh, you know, a very underserved, marginalized community of color. And, you know, they've historically had a lot of the, the worst emissions and worst conditions, air pollution, et cetera. So it's very important to us to prioritize that community when it comes to the benefits of electrifying our fleet. And so we're constantly applying for grants and other opportunities to stand up our electric fleet, bring on battery resiliency strategy for the Northeast Portland community, even looking at doing a commercial charging infrastructure station so that more heavy duty vehicles can actually come and recharge here. We've obtained a lot of support from our local utility, Portland General Electric, who provided us an opportunity to apply on the drive change grant, which enabled us to buy the actual truck and it contributed to the whole project development in terms of the infrastructure as well as the charger itself to make this project a reality. I thought it was actually really cool. That's actually what got me over to the commercial side was I seen the electric truck and I was like, I wanna drive that. It's an amazing vehicle to drive. It's way quieter, it's way smoother, um, it's faster. Whatever the company is able to do to minimize their carbon footprint is amazing. The goal would be for us to eventually retrofit our entire fleet so that it can serve our community with less noise, less emissions, and more opportunities for those who have interest in this industry because the green economy is here and circular economy, we believe, is going to be a really important asset to that shift and that evolution. And we want that to be birthed here in Portland, which is our hometown city. We're so excited to see City of Roses starting to do this work. We hope to see more. And we also hope to see other companies taking up the torch and following their lead.